Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamid Youssef. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received Saudi Arabia's Minister of Foreign Affairs, His Highness Prince Faisal bin Farhan bin Abdullah Al Saud at Rafah Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted the depth of historic ties between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia, which continue to receive the unwavering support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. He noted the importance of furthering relations in support of shared visions and common interests. His Highness Prince Faisal extended the greetings of the Saudi King to His Royal Highness, during which His Royal Highness extended his greetings to both the Saudi King and the Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense of Saudi Arabia, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. His Royal Highness noted that the security interests of both countries are identical with shared objectives in facing various challenges, including combating terrorism in all its forms. He highlighted the Saudi Bahraini Coordination Council's pivotal role in forming joint subcommittees to progress the Council's initiatives, including strengthening economic and industrial cooperation, as well as trade movements across land and sea. His Royal Highness underscored the importance of the King Fahad Causeway as vital to maintaining connectivity between the two countries and the role of the coming King Hamad Causeway in furthering economic, trade and industrial ties. Regional and international issues of common interest were discussed during which His Royal Highness commended Saudi Arabia's role in supporting Arab and Islamic nations as well as its role in safeguarding regional stability and the global economy. His Highness Prince Faisal extended his gratitude for the opportunity to meet His Royal Highness and noted His Royal Highness's continued support in bolstering Bahraini Saudi ties. The chairman of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani, the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and Saudi Arabia's Ambassador to Bahrain, His Royal Highness Prince Sultan bin Ahmed bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, also attended the meeting. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with the outgoing commander of the U.S. Naval Forces Central Command and U.S. Fifth Fleet, Vice Admiral Samuel Paparo at Rafah Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted the depth of relations between Bahrain and the United States and the importance of furthering, further strengthening cooperation across various sectors, including military and defense cooperation. His Royal Highness noted the Vice Admiral's efforts during his tenure in bolstering security ties and wished him further success in his future endeavors. Regional and international issues of common interest were also discussed. Vice Admiral Paparo expressed his gratitude for the opportunity to meet with His Royal Highness and noted the unwavering support he received during his tenure in furthering the Bahraini-U.S. relations. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, conveyed greetings from His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to the Serbian President Alexander Vucic. His Highness stressed Bahrain's keenness on developing bilateral relations and promoting joint cooperation with Serbia. He underlined His Majesty's interest in building strong relations with Serbia, looking forward to strengthening ties across all fields. He also highlighted the efforts of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to consolidate joint ties across all fields. His Highness praised the positive results of President Vucic's visit to Bahrain, during which he held talks with His Majesty the King on bolstering political, economic, trade, youth and sports cooperation. The Serbian President and His Highness Sheikh Nasser discussed issues of common interest and ways to further consolidate them in addition to regional and international developments. His Highness Sheikh Nasser met with the Serbian media and praised the cooperation between both countries across all fields. 
President Vucic stressed his country's keen interest in developing bilateral relations, praising the warm welcome during his recent visit to the Kingdom of Bahrain. He praised the outcomes of his talks with His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, adding that His Highness Sheikh Nasser's visit embodies the two countries' solid relations and aspirations to further strengthen them. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم فخامة الرئيس ألكسندر فوتشيتش السادة الوزراء أصحاب السعادة الحضور الكريم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بكل فخر والاعتزاز تشرفنا بتكليف سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى الخليفة ملك البلاد المفدى بقيادة هذا الوفد رفيع المستوى كمبعوثا وممثلا لجلالته بعد أقل من شهر من زيارتكم التاريخية والواعدة للمملكة بداية اسمحوا لي بصفتي هذه أن أنقل تحيات جلالة الملك المفدى وتمنيات الطيبة وتحيات صاحب السمو الملكي الأمير سلمان بن حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة ولي العهد نائب القائد الأعلى ورئيس مجلس الوزراء يسعدنا أن نصل اليوم إلى مدينة بالغريد الجميلة والتاريخية لأول زيارة رسمية للمملكة إلى العاصمة الصربية حيث نجتمع مرة أخرى كأصدقاء وشركاء لتعزيز هذه الشراكة الجديدة والواعدة إن القيم والتطلعات المتبادلة مثل تلك القائمة بين شعبي البحرين وصربيا هي الأساس الذي يقوم عليه هدفنا المشترك للتنمية المستدامة والازدهار لكل بلدينا كما وتؤكد هذه الزيارة الرسمية على أهمية العلاقات الثنائية وقيمة هذه الشراكة المتنامية التي نأمل إلى أن تعزز أطر التعاون الدبلوماسية والاقتصادية والاستراتيجية بين بلدينا سيد الرئيس خلال زيارتكم الأخيرة وتقدير التطلعات المشتركة أمر, سي أمر سيدي جلالة الملك المفدى بإنشاء سفارة لمملكة البحرين في بلغريد وهي لفتة رحبت بها حكومتكم وعليها صدرتم أيضا أمركم بإنشاء سفارة لجمهورية صربيا في مملكة البحرين كخطوة أساسية ومهمة في تبني نهج مؤسسي 
لتسهيل وتعزيز التعاون بين البلدين كما يسعدني انضمام كبار ممثلي المؤسسات الحكومية والاقتصادية والاستراتيجية الرائدة في مملكة البحرين ضمن هذا الوفد للاتفاق على خطوات ملموسة نحو تحقيق الرؤى المشتركة لكل القيادتين سيد الرئيس مرة أخرى أشكركم على دعوتكم الكريمة وحسن الضيافة وأنني أتطلع إلى استكشاف روعة وجمال هذا البلد العظيم شكرا The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, yesterday arrived in Serbia on an official visit. His Highness was received by Serbian Prime Minister Anna Brnovic and other officials. In a statement on his arrival, he praised a warm welcome, hailing the strong relations binding Bahrain and Serbia, supported by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, and the follow up by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, affirmed Bahrain's keenness to strengthen cooperation in the youth and sports areas with Serbia. In light of the care accorded to the youth and sports sectors by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the prominent role of His Ro Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Nasser was speaking during a meeting in Belgrade with Serbia's Youth and Sports Minister Vanja Udovicic. His Highness praised the depth of the relations between the two countries in various fields, including youth and sports, and indicated that Bahrain and Serbia have a distinguished relations in the vital aspects of youth and sports consolidated by the regular meetings between the two sides, the latest of which was between Youth and Sports Minister Ayman Lam Ayyad and his Serbian counterpart. His Highness indicated that many joint initiatives will be launched soon through framing the bonds of youth and sports activities, which will contribute to strengthening cooperation, stressing that the two countries will benefit fully through the exchange of expertise and experiences in these two fields. Udovicic welcomed the official visit of His Highness Sheikh Nasser to Serbia, praising the strong relations between the two countries and the growing significance of the youth and sports aspects, in light of the remarkable efforts exerted by His Highness Sheikh Nasser. The Serbian minister said that Bahrain is witnessing a comprehensive sports and youth re revitalization that has accomplished many achievements which will lead to great benefits through the exchange of ex expertise and experiences between the two countries in various fields. The Speaker of the Council of Representatives for Ziyah Zain and extended deepest thanks and gratitude to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for his directives to protect fishermen and preserve their livelihoods. The Speaker highlighted His Majesty the King's unwavering keenness to ensure the interests and rights of the citizens being a national priority and a firm royal approach, praising His Majesty's directives to support the fishermen and their families following the serious damages they have suffered as a result of the irresponsible practices of the Qatari authorities. The Speaker then extended sincere appreciation and gratitude to his Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa for his directives to double social security assistance and disability pensions, as well as orders to the Ministry of Labor and Social Development to start dispersing payments during the holy month of Ramadan. The chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Saleh, affirmed that His Majesty the King's support to affected Bahraini fishermen reflects His Majesty's keenness to provide a high living standards for them. He affirmed the keenness of His Majesty to meet the needs of Bahrainis, especially the fishermen who are in most need to be compensated for their losses. Al Saleh also praised the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to doubling social security assistance as well as disability pensions and ordered the Ministry of Labor and Social Development to start dispersing payment during the holy month of Ramadan. The Minister of Labor and Social Development, Jamil Ahmedan, has commended the generous directors of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to the Ministry to double the value of Social Security benefits and disability pensions. The funds will be dispersed in mid-April with the start of the holy month of Ramadan. The Minister expressed his gratitude to His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister for securing the needs of citizens and meeting their living requirements, especially the most needy groups. Around 17,052 Bahraini families and 12,459 individuals 
individuals with disabilities register with the ministry will be benefiting from the decision. Recently, the British media commended the efforts of the Kingdom of Bahrain for the procedures being taken to deal with COVID-19 pandemic while maintaining all sectors' functionality, including tourism, making Bahrain one of the top touristic destinations for Britons. To speak more about this, we are joined on the phone by the British ambassador to the Kingdom of Bahrain, Mr. Wadi Drummond. Hello, Mr. Drummond. The Kingdom of Bahrain has been internationally applauded for its steps to deal with the pandemic. Can you tell us how this led Bahrain to become a favorite destination for British tourists? Good evening. Um, so we're looking very hard at how we can reopen up um, international travel, which is pretty important to uh, all of our economies. And we are going to be announcing some changes in the next uh, week or so with a view to opening international travel out of the UK from May the 17th. So there are a number of aspects of that. It's too early to say which countries uh, will be affected, but we're going to be introducing a risk-based traffic light system, um, red, amber, green, um, and that will look at which countries um, <clears throat> where the risk is lower, for example, vaccinations, infection rates, the prevalence of new variants of the, of the virus, and uh, the amount of testing and genomic sequencing going on in other countries. So I, I'm sure that Bahrain is going to be very well placed um, when um, we're able to make decisions in the next few weeks because Bahrain has made tremendous strides in its vaccination program um, and, in fact, it's one of the leading countries in the world when it comes to um, rolling out vaccinations to all of the citizens and residents. British Ambassador to the Kingdom of Bahrain, Mr. Roddy Drummond, thank you for joining us. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 534,356 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 302,432 had taken the second. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 10,042 with 798 recoveries, 974 registered new cases and three deaths. 293 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 643 are contacts of active cases and 38 are travel related. The deceased were a 43-year-old female expatriate and an 87 and 77-year-old male citizens. The Ministry expresses heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task force for combating the coronavirus. And to speak more about this, we are joined on the phone by Chief Resident of Internal and Geriatric Medicine, Dr. Abbas Farooq. Hello, Dr. Abbas. Tell us about the efficiency of the vaccines available here in Bahrain and your advice to people to deal with the current health situation. Yes, good evening, everybody. Uh, regarding first, uh, first, it is worth mentioning that Bahrain was very eager to provide as much quantity of the vaccine in a short period of time to all Bahraini citizens and residents through the providing a variety of internationally approved vaccines. And those vaccines further go through a national inspection process by the NAHRA to ensure they fit the standardized manufacturing criteria before permitting their entry to the kingdom and use. Regarding, your, uh, the, regarding the efficiency, just to clarify that the vaccine efficiency 
is the percentage reduction in disease incidence uh, as as a vaccinated group in comparison to unvaccinated group. The latest statistical announced on the last press by the member of the national committee the com- to combat COVID-19 and displayed on the official Ministry of Health media channels that 99.2 of those who got the infection were not vaccinated and only 0.8% of those vaccinated captured the infection. So all four vaccines which are authorized by Bahrain, Sinopharm, Pfizer, and Cofigil, and Sputnik, are with high safety and efficacy profiles in preventing spread and complication of the COVID-19 and are, are available for age from 18 and above. We should not compare those efficacy rates among vaccines as this can mislead and should not be a basis for decision making because all vaccine available in Bahrain has passed study and trial. So I advise to the people to avoid unnecessary gathering, keep safe, two meter distances, wearing masks, wash or sanitize your hand regularly. And finally, I advise all people to get vaccinated as soon as possible in order to protect themselves and their loved ones. Chief Resident of Internal and Geriatric Medicine, Dr. Abbas Farouk, thank you for joining us.